The game's future stars are on display as minor league baseball comes your way on the show. It's the home opener of this new season between the Biloxi Shuckers and the Jacksonville Jumbo Shrimp. Stepping into the box, Devin Hairston. And we are set for baseball here this evening. Hit on the ground to third. He's got it. And a good throw gets him one gun. Stepping up now, Tristan Lutz. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Tristan Lutz. Fooled with the curveball there, and it's strike two. Well, the Mercury has dipped under 50, 49 degrees here at first pitch. Hit hard down the right field line, but that's a foul ball. Bases are empty, one man out. Hit out towards second. And there's out number two. Digging in now, Joseph Austin. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. The 1-1 home. Swung on and missed for strike number two. Bases are empty here with two men out. Hit back toward the mound. And that finds its way through for a base hit. That is four. The third base hit. Patrick Leonard. Steal. To the plate now, Patrick Leonard. And it's fouled away. Now another 2-2. Two -two. Got him swinging. Made him chase outside the zone that time, and that puts an end to the inning. Coming to the plate now, Richard Starkey. it lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Three balls and a strike. Here's the pitch. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Hummel is there and he makes the catch for the out. So striding in, Justin Twine. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Hummel is right there as he'll put it away without much problem for the second out. Standing in, J.J. Bladé, and he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. Hit hard on the ground is short, right to him. Throw in time, and the side is retired. New inning set to get underway. Now at the play, Jake Gatewood. And he's looking to get it going. Off to a bit of a slow start this year. Fouled away. The one-two. And that's a swinging strike three in the dirt. The throw to first is in time, one down. Now at the plate, Blake Olimon. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Down the left field line and deep. But this will land untouched. The 3 2 one more time. No score here as we play inning number two. And he loses him on a breaking ball. Digging in the switch hitter, Cooper Hummel. First shot for him here with a runner at first now and one away. Cooper Hummel. Little tardy on that swing as it's well wide at first. To two balls and two strikes now. Lifted in the air out to center field. 
Scott is there to put it away and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Digging in Carlos Leon as he'll get his first opportunity in this move. Leon leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. That's going to even up the count at two and two. As a look now the pitch trying to nibble here and he misses to run it full now three and two three two two out runner on first lots of possible outcomes on this pitch this is hit high in the air out toward left center and Carnacion will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move and that ends the inning. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. So now it'll be the four hole hitter, Ferrar Encarnacion. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. Yeah. Called strike, and he's behind one and two. Now a drive out to left center field. He's around first, heading for two. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. At the plate, Bryson Brigman. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. Working for the punch out and the offering. Two balls, two strikes. Started to go. Did he hold up in time? Yes, says the first base umpire. It's ball three now. Now a hard liner. But this is a foul ball. Here's the payoff pitch. Neither guy willing to give in, and the at bat will continue. The next three, two. A line shot to third base. Throw back to the bag, and the runner's back in time. Coming to the plate now, Connor Scott, and he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. The 3 1, ball four. Stepping in, Santiago Chavez. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. Working for the punch out and the offering. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time, out number two. Back now with the plate, Nolan Oliger. No out of the stretch, the 3 2 home. This one's down to third. Reined in. And the two out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Now to the plate, the pitcher, Alec Bettinger, as we are all set to begin the third inning in this one. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Encarnacion arranged to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the first down. Ready for another chance? Devin Hairston. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Rounded back up the middle. Fielded cleanly. Throw on to first. Two gone. Into the box now. Tristan Lutz. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. And each not the kind of swing you're looking for. 3 and 1 as it runs to a full count now. 3 and 2. And he fouls this one off. Hey, this is a huge at bat right here. This pitcher wants to end this inning and have three, four, five do up to start the next inning. Fouled off. Third inning, no score to this point. Lifted down the line and left. Left fielder giving chase. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side.
Next to hit will be the pitcher, Daniel Castano, as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. The 1 1 home is a changeup that's looked at for a ball. You certainly know he's not trying to work around the pitcher, but sometimes the hardest thing to do is to throw a strike to a guy that you know won't swing the bat. Here's a big swing and a miss on the fastball, two and two. Now here's a swing and a high pop-up, drifting into shallow right field. Alamon stay with it as he backs up and puts it away, one gone. So striding forward now, Richard Starkey. He flew out in his last at-bat. The 1-1 home. Popped up. And there's at number two. Now in the box, Justin Twine. Fly down in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. And there's ball two now. Bottom of inning number three, nothing, nothing our score. Hit down the third baseline. And this gets past him at third as it hugs the line. A fair ball. The throw into second. And he's safe. Stepping in now, J.J. Bleday. Drilled on the ground to short. He's got it. And nothing will come of the two-out double as the inning is over. Stepping in, Joseph Austin. He reached on a single in his first try. Yeah, guys, still the only hit in this game so far. They've been pretty well shut down. Guys on the mound have really much controlled the whole outcome up until this point. And he lays off there, ball four. Yeah, so the leadoff man is on here to begin stanza number four. This ball runs away for ball two. Two and one. Still all zeros in the run column here in the fourth inning. Dan, does this continue or does somebody score here? Oh, you have to love. You know, Matt, we have so many of these games that are 12 to 10 and 9 to 8. It's nice to see a low-scoring pitcher's duel for once. That's in there, and it'll run the count to full. Three and two. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Right fielder giving chase. Oh, and he can't come up with it. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Now batting. The first baseman, Jake. Standing in now, Jake Gatewood. And a big cut at the breaking ball, but he comes up empty, and that's the first out. Into the box, Blake Alamon reached base via the walk in his first plate appearance. To two balls and two strikes now. Pitching has the upper hand early as we're scoreless in inning number four. In the dirt here. Good job to corral this quickly as the runners hold on. Now the three and two pitch. Ground ball sent back up the middle. There's one. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired. Digging in, Ferrar Encarnacion, one for one as he reached base with a double his first time up. And he's got to build off that last A.B. He battled. Usually when you battle, you get in that swing mode. A lot of pitches, you'll swing at the rosin bag. I love the fact that he was able to work a double in last at bat. Let's see if we get more of the same right here. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. And that misses for ball four. It's a leadoff walk that starts the bottom of the fourth. Now to the plate, Bryson Brigman. Hit it hard but lined out in his first half bat. Yeah, Maddie, it's always a little frustrating when you square one up. You hit a solid line drive like he did, and all you have to show for it is a jog back to the dugout. That can get in your head for a little while. He's set, and the payoff pitch. And he lays off there, ball four. So back-to-back -back walks have him in business here with nobody out. Now batting, Connor Scott. He drew a base on balls his first time up. 
And now a fastball, but he's able to hold off on it, and it's two and one now. It has to be a challenge pitch coming up here. He probably doesn't want to flirt with loading the bases. Driven nicely into the gap. And the second run will score as that makes it a 2 nothing ball game. Now Hector. Santiago. Into the box, Santiago Chavez. Skied into straightaway right. And that's taken in straightaway right. Will he try from second? And he'll make it up to third safely here with one away. So digging in now, Nolan Oliver. They've got two already home in the inning and a potential third waiting in the wings only 90 feet away. Skied down the left field line. Left fielder is on the move. And he makes the catch in the corner. And he'll make it into score. It's a sack fly and an RBI, and it's now a 3-0 ball game. So no one on now after the sack fly. And next will be the pitcher, Daniel Castano. Already 24 pitches to this point in the inning. And it's fouled away. The one two is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. So coming to the plate, Cooper Hummel. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Now the 3 and 2 pitch. And a good eye here as he takes ball four, and it's a base on balls to lead off the fifth inning. At the plate, Carlos Leal. So far, 0 for 1 with a fly out. Back up the middle, and that'll just elude his outstretched glove for a base hit. The pitcher, number 31, Alex. So now to the plate, Alec Bettinger. Now a bunt attempt here as he gets this one down. And you can't ask for much more out of a pitcher than that. The sacrifice works to perfection. Now better. Ready for another shot now, Devin Hairston. He was a ground out victim last time up. Yeah, and I know you want to lace a line driver, hit a potential home run. But I'll tell you what, grab the cheap ribby when it's there. Give me a ground ball middle of the diamond and steal a run. Sent on the ground out to second. Scooped up, and he's out on the tag. But a run is in to score away from the play. Ready once again, Tristan Lutz. Runner in scoring position with Sugan. And that fastball's taken, but catches the outer third. Still full, three and two. Now the payoff pitch home. And whoa, awfully close, but it's ball four, according to Woody Keller. Digging in once again, Joseph Austin. And we'll see what he can do here with a pair of runners on base and two gone here in the fifth. Strike two as the fastball is let go. Ball bounces here, but a good job behind the plate to keep it at arm's length. Here now the 2-2. Pulls this one in the air out to left. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. So the lineup flips over and digging in Richard Starkey. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. One and two now. Here's the pitch. Fastball called strike three and there's the first out of the inning. 
trying to pick Down things back. up where he left safety. off. Justin Twine will try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Oh, now here's a drive out to the alley. Around first, digging for two. And he'll pull into second with one away. Now back. The right field. In now, J.J. Bladé. Liner toward right center. And that'll get down out there near the wall. And this will get all the way to the wall now. And this will not be close, and the run will score easily. Now back. Let's do it into the box now. Ferrar and Carnacion. And here's a fastball not close as he runs it to two and one now. Now a check swing, but he does manage to hold up in time. Ball three. Even though he was fooled in the box right there by that pitch, he was able to keep his hands back, not overcommit, and stay in this at bat. And they'll add one more to the lead. It's now a five to one ball game. Scott Sunich enters to make an appearance on the mound as he inherits a runner at first with one out in the inning. At the plate, Bryson Brigman. And they're working the outer half here, but that one's wide for ball three. We could see the runner in motion here on a 3-2 count with one out. There's a pretty good chance he's going to get a pitch to swing at, and if not, it's ball four anyways. Austin is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Stepping into the box, the Connor field. Scott. He drove in two with a double in his last at-bat. Yeah, give me a repeat performance of that last double. With a man on first right now, let him run and get you a ribby. Pulled hard, but it's foul down the first base side. Two out with the man at first. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. The one two. Grounded up the first baseline. He dives, but he can't pull it in, and it's down the line into right. And Carnacion blows through the stop sign, headed for home. The tag, and he's safe as they push the lead to five now. Now batting, Hector Santiago. Stepping in now, Santiago Chavez. Squared that one up just a little late. Three runs already home here. Again, another foul ball. Now another one-two. Low and inside with the breaking ball as that causes him to back up a bit. Good job to lay off that one-two breaking ball. Put himself right back in this at bat. Weak rounder back to the mound. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. C.J. Carter please. takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. Number six. Number six. Settling in now, Patrick Carter. Leonard. He's singled in two trips to the plate thus far. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going. And the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. Count remains two and two. Now here's the pitch. Jake Gatewood is on deck. The 3-2 pitch. Hops this one up. And that'll get down for a base hit. Now back the first base. Into the box, Jake Gatewood. 
on a rope to the second baseman. And it got there so quickly, the runner didn't get very far from the bag. They settled with just the one out. Striding into the box, Blake Aleman. He was a double play victim last time around. Yeah, rolling into a two ball will eat at you for the rest of the game at least. So you know he wants to make up for it right here. And Carnacion will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the second out of the inning. The left field, nine. Striding in, Cooper Hummel. 0 for 1 with a run scored thus far. The 1 2. Don't be surprised if he gets another back foot slider right here. Don't think for a second just because he took the first one that this pitcher won't come back exactly the same way. That gets down and the inning continues. Now that Carlos and the plate now Carlos Leal. Base hit line drive into the corner. And the runner scores from second as they cut away into that deficit here. Jordan that makes it a 6-2 to two game. Number 12. Right we'll get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. And he lays off for a ball. Two and one. Somebody's getting frustrated. He's not used to getting hit around like this. And a foul pop behind the plate. And he will indeed make the play in foul territory to retire the side. Miguel Sanchez will come on out of the bullpen as he'll be appearing in his third game this season. Number 72. Bottom of the inning now. Digging in. Nolan Oliger earned himself an RBI with a sack fly his last time at the plate. The 1 1 home. Hit hard on the ground towards second. Fielded cleanly. And he is in there. Corey Bird will come on to pinch hit now with a runner at first and nobody out. Corey Bird. A runner at first with no outs here. Fouled away. Now a swing and a chopper foul right at home plate. Here's another one two. Swing and a little blooper to center. Center fielder coming on but he won't get there it falls in. Now back the third baseman. Richard. To the plate now Richard Starkey. Starkey. Two and one. First and second here with nobody out. to two and two now this pitch is bringing it with some high velo you better get that front foot down early and get ready or he's going to throw it right by you now a ball grounded to short this could be two one there the relay not in time as he beats the throw by a step riding in once again Justin Twine and their runners at the corners now Fastball misses upstairs as that moves things to three and one now. Couldn't be a whole lot better situation to hit it now. Three and one, two on. He's got to be thinking he's going to get a pitch he can drive right here. Catch made in center. Here comes the runner from third. Ah, but the throw is well up the line and he scores easily. So stepping in, JJ Blade, hoping to build off that RBI double from his last plate appearance. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get maybe once an A-B, maybe once a game, maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. Austin is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. Chad Smith is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 46. 
Ball set for the start of the inning. Digging in to try it again. Devin Hairston. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. And he takes strike three called on the fastball. One gone. Now at the plate, Kristen Lutz over two for him to this point. The 1-1 one, one home. It is a sinker that gets a swinging strike. One ball, two strikes. And he fouls this one off. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. High in the air out to center field. Scott is there, two gone. At the plate, Joseph Austin. He enters this at bat, one for two with a walk. The 1 1. No. A bit of a hanger, but it's laid off and called a strike. Still even at two and two. Two out, nobody on. And this will miss down low in the dirt, so he's worked it full now at three and two. Pops this one up, but this will land untouched. On the eighth pitch of the at bat is the one that finally does it as he wears him down, and the inning is over. Last half of the seventh here, digging in and looking for more. Ferrar Encarnacion. He came through with an RBI single in his last at bat. Now a ball swung on and heading for the stands in right and that'll move the count to one and two now. Here's the pitch. Hit in the air down the right field line. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. The one two. Ball. Well I think that pitch is the result of a lot of foul balls. He might have tried to do a little bit too much with it trying to get him to swing through it but it just ended up taking off on him and a change up swung on and missed for the first out. Now the one and one pitch. Hard hit ball towards the hole and that'll find its way into right field for a one out single. Now that into the box now Connor Scott and that's into the corner of foul ball and right the one two is a wave and a miss he struck him out stepping in and ready for another shot Santiago Chavez he was retired via the ground ball last time up the two one home Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. Now the three and two pitch. Swing and a line drive. But a foul ball. He'll try it again three and two. And that misses ball four. So it's first and second now with two out. Aaron Wilkerson will come on and make his fourth appearance in this campaign. Nolan Oliger will be his first assignment here as he'll face him with runners at first and second and two away. Didn't threaten the zone there. Looked like it might have actually popped out of his hand a little early. Call didn't go his way on two and one, but it's important here on three and one to still make a quality pitch. You have to have the mindset that you're still the one in the driver's seat. Left center, base hit. And the 
second run will score. It's now 9 to 2. Riley Mahan will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Number 13, Riley Mahan. Lifted into the air to shallow center. Here's the center fielder. He makes the catch. What a play on the run to end the inning. Alex Mateo will come on in relief as he'll make his second appearance of the season so far. Number 18. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Patrick Leonard. He reached on a single last time and later wound up scoring. One one a fastball high two and one now. The count now at two and two. Here's the pitch. No pitcher likes to take the count to three and two, especially when you throw a non-competitive pitch like that on two and two. That one wasn't even close. And a half swing that time, but it's a full swing in the eyes of the umpire, and that'll be the first out of the inning. The first base into the box now, Jake Gatewood. He could really use a knock here, 0 for three in the game so far. Hit in the air down the right field line. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. Ready on one and two. Well off the plate with the change of pace. That's ball two. Not close with the off speed pitch taken for a ball. The three and two pitch popped him up, and he'll stay with it to put it away as they get their man here for the second out. At the plate, Blake Alamon. Only four outs remaining for them to try and rally back in this one. The one one is taken for ball two. Even now, two and two. Now, here it comes. Again, he sends it out of play. Ready with another two two. And again, he's unable to keep it fair, but he's putting together quite a battle at the plate. Here's the 2 2. Yanked high and deep down the line in right. And it's a foul ball. Hey, have an AB right here. I know it's frustrating the heck out of the pitcher. You keep fouling these pitches off. Maybe one misses over the heart of the plate. On the eighth pitch of the at bat is the one that finally does it as he wears him down, and the inning is over. to the top of the lineup stepping in Richard Starkey A one one hit softly on the ground to third throw on to first and one third baseman grounds out to the other one away in now Justin Twine he's two for three and looking for more here A one one Line drive to left. Hummel is going to get there as he backs up to put it away. And there are two gone now. now Standing in, J.J. Blade. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. And he takes a cold strike two. Bases are empty here with two men out. 
fouled off. Now a foul tip held on to behind the plate at strike three, and that ends the inning. Ready now, Cooper Hummel. He singled his last time up. The 1-1 one, one home. toward right center field right fielder is on the run he gets to it and makes the catch for the first out stepping up to the plate Carlos Leal so far two for three in this one we all fastball laid off well below the knees Hit down the line at first. And a heck of an effort over there at first, but it'll be for naught as this is a foul ball. And it's fouled away. One out, nobody on. And that one never threatened the zone. It's gone full now to three and two. Wow, talk about a waste pitch on two and two. That one wasn't even close. I don't know anyone that would have swung at that pitch. On to first, and they're an out away. Two gone here in the ninth. Bryce Terang will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Bryce Terang. This will be a called strike two and trouble now as they're down to their final strike tonight. That pitch looked like it could have been a little high but he's been calling that pitch all night. Kind of rough for a pinch hitter but I'm sure his teammates let him know that's where the zone has been. Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. And now those that have stuck it out tonight come to their feet. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. Here comes the payoff pitch. Swing and a line drive. And that'll get down for a two out single. Now that is Devin Hairston. At the plate, Devin Hairston. And this is swung on and missed. So now they find themselves down to their final strike tonight. Guess who tipped their hand? They were sitting all over a piece of cheese. He flew open on the front side. This is line to left. But he will make the catch on the hard hit ball out there. And that will conclude matters here as this ball game is over. Hey, a great win for these guys as they wrap up another one. But a little bit of a sour note, though. Everyone has to head home, get on those computers, and get those taxes out before midnight. A 9-2 finish at the end of this contest. The Jacksonville Jumbo Shrimp took the lead in the fourth and held on until the end. Daniel Castano earns his first win of the season. Alec Bettinger permitted six earned runs to come across in the losing effort. So that'll just about do it. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, don't forget to check out theshownation.com. Like first for the victorious Jungle Shrimp. Nine runs, 11 hits. No errors. They left six men on base. For the Chuckers, two runs, seven hits, no errors. They left nine runners on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 34 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this evening.
we remind you to please drive home safely.